Hey guys, welcome to Crazy Days. I'm Wanda, and today we're going to be talking about The Longest Walk by Ron Foster. Now, some of you guys, you think Walmart's your longest walk, really? Okay, this is a 180 mile walk. Ron Foster is an author that writes about Southern apocalyptic fiction, I guess is, that may be the term you need to use. Anyway, it's not zombie apocalypse. It is like solar, uh, the EMP type thing happens, and how to deal with it, how to survive. Survival tips. Hey, this book is full of survival tips, and the best way to know how to um, remember something is to read a fiction story. Lots of people don't get it when they get these huge books that have all these survival tips in them. They, they remember and retain one or two along the way. But when you read something like The Longest Walk and you read a person actually doing it and it, they're explaining why they hunted what they hunted and why they picked up what they did and how they have put it all together, then you understand because it might stick in your brain a little better. And that's the way I am. I've looked at I don't know how many survival guides and survival tips and books on how to, the dummies and everything for it. And... Actually reading stories about real people doing real things. So in The Longest Walk, a man is in Atlanta. He's in a meeting and lights go out. So from that point on, he has to figure out how to get home 180 miles away. And Ron has you laughing. I can't help it. Some of it's very funny. He, uh, the characters are very real. You know people that act like this. So you have a prepper guy headed home. He actually is part of FEMA. He, he knows his stuff on emergency management. And in real life, Ron Foster knows his stuff on emergency management. <laughs> That's the beauty of it. So he brings in the prepper and the emergency management and all of it into his books. Ron has wrote over 65 books and working on another one from what I hear. He's talked to Danny and I both and um, been very instrumental in helping us learn a lot about some of the survival things that the old time preppers did. So Ron was writing books back 15, 20 years ago. I've got a supply of books, guys. He sent me quite a few and we're going to be giving some away at the gathering. I'm going to read some of these. This one is really good. Now, this one's for kids. And this one is uh, somebody that wants to learn how to use a pocket knife. It's more like a, a survival uh, for kids learning about a, a pocket knife. The Longest Walk is a trilogy that is a combination of three other books. The first one is Prepper's Road March. This book is very funny, very knowledgeable, and I really enjoyed it. The second one, Bug Outs, Preppers on the Move. This is about um, people bugging out. Same people as in this one. It just continues on and into this one. I haven't gotten to this one yet, so I can't tell you about that one. And this is the third one, The Light in the Lake. This is when they get to their location. I've done looked ahead. I know it's all the same people in three different books. But you can get it in this, and you get a bonus book called... Um, you get a bonus book, Stuart's Bug Out, in this one. So there's four books in this one. Great deals. Guys, you got to check out Ron Foster. That's all I can say. If you like fiction and you like a handheld book or, hey, he has them in audio. You can listen if you can't read anymore and you like to hear reading somebody else read it to you. You can get it in audio. I think that was pretty cool, too. Um, Danny and I like the handheld. We both would rather have a book in our hand. And since we're off grid at the cabin, I took this book over there and started reading and was up with the light shining i had to have a, a, a battery operated light and i kept it going till i finished reading ron foster the longest walk check him out 
We're going to be giving away some of the, his books at the gathering. So if you're going to be there, maybe you'd like to look at them and we'll be giving them away. And so I want to say thank you, Ron, for sending us the books. Thank you for the laughs. Thank you for the help. And guys, check out Ron Foster, handheld books, audio books, Kindle, whatever. So talk to you later. Thank you from Crazy Days.